But the real purpose of the get-together was to discuss the unique set of values that made the computer revolution possible and brainstorm about its future. My political platform is that we need an electronic declaration of independence. My project is to make all software free. I want to talk to people who are in. Computers are sort of a fascinating build-it set where you can build things that you can then use to build more things. What you're building is kind of alive. It has a life of its own. It's a little thing that follows all your commands. It allows you to put together structures that you couldn't have put together before and carry this on until you're making structures thousands of times as big. Once you figure out the, the solution to the puzzle, you can write the instructions down and then watch them execute you know, a million times a second. Get off again. I'd get up around five or so and come into the lab, read the messages people would send me. Then I'd go out to Chinatown with people and have a nice dinner. Then I'd come back and I would write programs all night. And around seven in the morning, I'd go to sleep. Richard Stallman has been called the last pure hacker for choosing to remain at MIT despite the temptations of the commercial world true to the spirit of the early hackers. What they had in common was mainly love of excellence in programming. They wanted to make their programs that they used be as good as they could. They also wanted to make them do neat things. They wanted to be able to do something in a more exciting way than anyone believed possible and show, look how wonderful this is. I bet you didn't believe this could be done. Run his programs. But today, hackers are divided between the old values and the new. They can't agree whether source codes, the basic blueprints of a program, should be shared or not. Imagine if you bought a house and the basement was locked and only the original building contractor had the key. If you needed to make any change, repair anything, you had to go to him. And if he was too busy doing something else, he'd tell you to get lost and you'd be stuck. You're at that person's mercy and you become downtrodden and resigned. That's what happens when the blueprints to a computer program are kept secret by the organization that sells it. And that's the usual way things are done. People